I'm with head coach Ken Fickus. Ken, you guys aren't in the toughest pool, but you're, in the, but you're not in the easiest as well. What do you guys need to do to get some wins against some really good teams? Uh, we've been working really hard since the end of the season on, on learning how to score and putting the puck in the net. That's been one of our big problems. We, uh, four of our last five games, we lost three of them, and we only scored uh, seven goals in those games. So we have to get back to being not quite so fancy, just shooting the puck, doing the job. You guys haven't played a meaningful game in over a month. How, what have you seen from your team in practice the past month to get them back to 100% ice speed? We've, been, uh, we've had four practices this week, and every one of them have been hard practices in the fact that we've been working a lot on skating, skating, skating. We just uh, want to keep in shape, want to be ready, and we've done a lot of scrimmaging, and the kids have uh, really picked up the pace. Uh, at the end of the season, I was a little worried. I didn't think they were intense enough or working hard enough, but this last week, they've worked their butts off. Now, if you guys get out of pool play, you could play two games on Saturday for in the semis and national championship. How tough will it be for your players to play two games in one day? Uh, I think it's an advantage for us, really, because we're we're coming from the mountains and uh, with the altitude, I think we're in a little better shape. Uh, we when we won it in 2003, it was the same setup. We had to win two games in one day, and the first game in the morning went overtime, and we still had enough left. Uh, what the kids got to realize is we have possibly five games left, that's less than 24 hours of hockey that we have left for the year. So as long as they give everything they got every minute of those five games, we'll be fine. Right, thank you, Coach, and good luck. Thank you much, Ron.